I never know what time it is when I'm in my workshop and I keep missing appointments. Therefore, I made myself a clock out of a walnut life edge cookie. It's super simple to make, so follow me and lass uns anfangen. I've had this cookie for quite some time now and I never knew what to build out of it. I think it would be perfect for the clock. The inside gap I like to fill with black resin. To close up the holes I'm using tuck tape. Make sure you cover all the cracks, you do not want the resin to leak out later. Use a scissor or your teeth to rip off pieces of the tape. Is it just me that's using her teeth for more things than I should be? Get your protective gear. I'm using gloves and I'm in a well ventilated area. Use a respirator if you are not. For the resin, I'm using Total Boat. This resin has a 1 to 1 ratio. To get the right measurements, make sure you use a measuring cup. And you know what's next. Resin dance! For the color, I'm using Total Boat Black Pigment. Just add a bit and mix it up one more time. No, no, not me. The resin. Stop it. Mix the resin. Once the pigment is well combined with the resin, it's time to pour it. Follow the instruction of how thick you can pour the resin. You might have to do multiple pours. Let the resin dry to a sticky consistency before you pour the next layer. Use a heat gun to pop any bubbles. The last layer should be a little over poured. Wait a few days to let it fully dry. Here you can see how I over poured the resin a bit. It's a few days later now and the resin has fully dried. It's time to flatten the surface now. First step, let's take off the tape. To flatten the piece, an easy way is to use either a CNC or a router sled. I'm using a little risk here on taking the planer. It is a little risky because the bark might just chip off in the planer. Make sure you take off minimal surface with each turn. This is too much on my nerves. Maybe I should have just taken the router sled instead. I guess I got really lucky. Make your own decision with which route you like to go with. Are you feeling a little risky today or you just like to go the safe road? And there I lost a little bit of bark. That's not too bad. I can just reattach the pieces that came off with some glue. And now it's time to sand the piece. Like always, let's have some fun with it. I sand it through all the grids. Now it's time to build a Nekka Mizzen. I purchased an inexpensive set from Amazon. Like always, the links are in the description below. The set comes with everything. The movement mechanism, hands and the numero kits. Since the cookie wasn't round but uneven, it took me a minute to decide where I want the mechanism to be placed.
Once I decided on it, I started by drilling a hole. The hole needs to be big enough so that the golden part of the mechanism can just slide through. We will need to countersink the mechanism into the clock. Therefore, flip the cookie over, stick the mechanism through the hole, and then trace the part. I used my Makita handheld router to cut out the inlay. Fits perfectly, wie angegossen. Now attach the mechanism. And it works perfectly. Next up is to attach the numbers, so it's easier to tell what time it is. I'm using super glue. Try to space out the numbers evenly, so you can later accurately tell what time it is. Now on the second thought, the number 7 looks a little bit uneven. Let's see if it's fixable. Once you're happy with the layout, put on some finish. I'm using Mycamate Liquid Hydration. Liquid Hydration seeps into the wood grain to offer protection and enhances the natural color of the wood. Let the wood soak in as much as it likes. After, finish up with a layer of Moose Magoo's wood butter. And this is how the finished clock looks like. If you've been watching my channel, you already know Walnut is one of my most favorite woods to work with because of the beautiful grain pattern. What do you think of the finished clock? Please leave me a comment below. Also, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Tschüss!